What's up everyone, I'm sitting right here beside Gavin Harrison and what you just played there is using one of your favorite stickings that uh, you think is yeah. very useful. Yeah, I've been doing this for years and my favorite, well, my favorite stick is one of my favorite stickings that I, it tends to, to come out a lot without me thinking. It's a five note grouping, right, left, right, right, left. Now, you can play it as uh, 16s, like Play it as triplets. And because it's five, it doesn't catch the ear in the way that a group of four or a group of three does. When you hear drummers playing in groups of four and three, you kind of think, oh, I know what they're doing. When there's a five, you think, oh, hang on, where's this going? Mm -hmm. It's got a like a little snaky path of its own. And of course, what's fun is that you can stick a bass drum on the end and turn it into six. Hmm. And not just accent the first note, sometimes I accent the second note. The bass drum note that I put at the end of the right, left, right, right, left, I do a double time bass drum note. <laughs> so it's still a group of six. Right. Hmm. So now you can start generating, switching from fives to sixes, put in a double kick at uh, the, at the end of the six, and changing subdivisions from 16s to triplets, you can actually create a massive amount of varial, uh, var variation to the, to the licks and the fills. Right, right. I also use that pattern as a way to accent five notes. Hmm. So if I showed you uh, if like if I play in seven eight, and then I play the pattern of five over the top, you're going to have seven eight and five sixteen running at the same time, right? Sounds like this. One two three four five six seven. So now you can get into some quite polyrhythmic things. Mm -hmm. Because this pattern of five is so natural to my hands, mm -hmm. I don't have to think about it. Hmm. My hands, I just know that that's a group of five. Right, left, right, right, left. Right, left, right, right, left. And then I can put it over rhythms in four, in three, in seven, and yeah. Once you understand where you know the kind of uh, the mathematics of it, but it feels quite a natural pattern to play, mm -hmm. whether it's sixteens, triplets, or anything. I, I've had a lot of mileage out of it. No kidding. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we got to to, to pull that out of you because I've definitely heard that come through in a lot of your yeah. a lot of your recordings, and I've always wondered what it was. And when we were doing some lessons here in uh, Drumio, you said it's one of my favorite stickings. So yeah, there it is, Gavin Harrison's favorite sticking and a couple of really cool uses for it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Pleasure. And if you guys like that, we have a lot more with Gavin inside of Drumio, so head on over to drumio.com and join us in the members section. We'll see you guys later.